It's no news when we say that most rappers have traded their souls with the devil. The rap industry is very dangerous, with countless rappers losing their lives at a very young age. It's as if most of these rappers have traded their souls for fame. Keep watching till the end of this video to see the list of rappers who got caught selling their souls. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. Juice World. As part of the new generation of emo rap artists, Juice World was widely regarded as a talented and promising artist. Unfortunately, his career was shortened after he overdosed on drugs, costing him his life. The rapper's lifestyle before his death has made fans and critics believe that he had sold his soul to the devil in exchange for fame. Juice World had constantly rapped about his death, like he knew something was coming for him. In his song, Legends, the lyric said, What's the 27 club? We ain't making it past 21. I've been going through paranoia. Lyrics like this kept on popping in his songs and this became a worry for his fans. I'm getting high before the flight, LAX to the shy. Memories on my mind, been reflecting on my life. Something don't feel right. Down deep inside, I'm scared of my own demise. I need to confide to the love of my life. It's getting dark outside. It's getting darker inside. As if this wasn't enough, the rapper, while on an Instagram Live, showing his fans how he was doing his final ritual and selling his soul to the devil, says, Hi y'all, I'm finna sell my soul. I'm gonna hit you up when I'm done. Hi y'all, I'm finna sell my soul. I'm gonna hit y'all when I'm through. I'm gonna be rich as hell. This was just the confirmation fans and critics needed to conclude that the rapper had made an exchange with the devil. The rapper took to his Twitter to backtrack his earlier statement and was totally surprised at how many people really believed what he said. Juice World replied, I'm a God-fearing man. But how do you claim to be a God-fearing man and play with demonic you're either here or there, and can't be in between. I'm not sure if this was a coincidence, neither am I saying it is supernatural, but the famous Lucid Dreams rapper was just 21 years old when he lost his life. And remember, he had said in his music that he isn't making it past 21. This has to be one of the most accurate predictions of all time. Trippy Red there's no way the list is complete without Trippy Red when mentioning unique rappers. Trippy has recently been compared to Lil Uzi Vert and the late XXX Tentacion, the rapper best known for his blend of hip hop, punk rock, and emo influences in his music, has been caught selling his soul to the devil. Trippy Red's physical appearance steadily gives demonic vibes. The rapper's choice of symbols and appearance are always dark and sketchy. Fans believe that you can tell he's demonic merely by looking at him. Trippy Red has constantly portrayed himself as a demon and has been described as the most demonic rapper. With the rapper's consistent use of the one-eye symbol and his choice of tattoos, everything just screams demonic. Trippy's music videos are also always dark with satanic vibes and background. The rapper's Topanga video, where he was in the middle of several ladies and the cult-like gathering to which it looked like they were performing, a ritual of some sort that it won't be weird if you have a bad dream after watching it. The rapper had Baphomet, which represents the devil in his music video. The rapper's constant use of the 666 seems to be why we're all convinced he's satanic. Still, the rapper broke it all down when he took to his Instagram and explained what the 666 mark means to him, saying, a lot of y'all are blind to reality, he said. Six protons, six neutrons, six electrons, melanin in black people's skin. Do your research now why I say TR666. Because Trippy Red is black, but Trippy Red is also dark. I make dark music, but I'm black, so I use it as a metaphor. Make sure you do your research, man, because these people could be telling you like 666 is the mark of the beast. According to Trippy Red, it's all some black power and literally has no dark supernatural meaning and you all are just tripping on the demonic. Well, it all comes down to speculations because there hasn't been concrete evidence to say that he really sold his soul to the devil. Lil Nas X it's no news that Lil Nas X is one of the hottest rappers in the rap industry at the moment. He's not only popular for his music, but also for how he manipulates the public to trend his music and also other matters relating to him. Everyone assumes that once you become popular as a rapper, you've sold your soul to the devil, and the queer rapper was no different. The whole issue about Lil Nas X selling his soul to the devil came up when a TikTok account of a musician called Lyle went viral. In the TikTok post, Lyle posted, My life effing 
I'm an artist from the middle of nowhere. I've never gotten lucky or had any overnight success because I refused to sell my soul to the devil. My life f***ing sucks. I'm an artist from the middle of nowhere. I've never gotten lucky or had any overnight success because I refuse to sell my soul. Putting up a photo of Lil Nas X as an example of rappers who have sold their souls to the devil. Lyle, however, chose the wrong person, which caused people to hate her and get a response from Lil Nas X himself. The Old Town Road rapper took to his TikTok and posted a video where he basically copied everything Lyle did in her video. The queer rapper added, I now worship the devil because I let him smash once, referring to a scene in the video of his hit song, Call Me By Your Name, where it took place. But this isn't enough reason to say Lil Nas X has actually done so. On different occasions, the rapper has been accused of selling his soul to the devil because of the dark themes he often uses in his videos. All these came from the rapper's consistent use of satanic themes in his music videos. Using the rapper's music video of his song Montero as a reference, Lil Nas X was sliding down into hell after giving the devil a lap dance. This attracted criticisms from different people, saying that he is not only encouraging worshipping the devil, but also scandalizing young kids. Lil Nas X didn't stop here. The rapper went ahead and released 666 pairs of the Satan shoes, which was immediately sold out. With a pentagram pendant, a monogrammed Bible reference to the devil, and a drop of human blood in the soul, the sneakers playfully parried the devil. Lil Nas X had intentionally targeted conservative Christians, which led to a statement from a religion scholar, Anthea Butler, where she said the music pushes every button that conservative Christians have. Alice Travis took to her Twitter, commenting on the video, saying, Weak men are influenced by Satan. It takes a very insecure person to glamorize hell. You are only concerned with fame and money. I pray for your soul. Lil Nas X has replied to many people who had a lot to say about his music video. The rapper says, unfortunately, he has no dark agenda. His only aim is to tell people that it's okay to be who you want to be. You see, this is very scary for me. People will be angry. They will say I'm pushing an agenda. But the truth is, I am. The agenda to make people stay the f*** out of other people's lives and stop dictating who they should be. Are these claims enough to say that Lil Nas X has sold his soul to the devil? Well, we can only speculate as to whether Lil Nas X has really sold his soul to the devil, but without proof, it is impossible to confirm. The relationship between the devil and music has been on for some time now, and it won't be news if these rappers have really sold their souls to the devil. Do you think exchanging their soul for fame is a good decision? Join the conversation and let us know in the comment section below. That's the end of today's video, guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe for more content. Thanks.